Hey, this is Brandon with Goats Gaming. Uh, what did you just do? Uh, I got first at uh, Loka UDS qualifier. And what did you play? Uh, I played Paleo, and uh, yeah, this is the profile. Um, I played three swap. This is pretty self-explanatory. You need three. Uh, this is like the basic engine of your of your whole deck, basically. This gets all your play started. Uh, three dupe, uh, also needed with swap. Pretty self-explanatory. It's good if you get two of them because then you can get the the dupe block where they can't attack you at all. But that doesn't come up too often. Two rodent tone, because I think one is one isn't enough, and three is too many. It becomes cloggy. Two is is very fair. It's a good number, and it's a. I think that this is definitely the correct ratio. Um, I main deck two max E. Um, some people don't like this in the main deck for this deck, but I feel like it's needed. Um, if you don't win the dice roll and you go second, you need an option so that you can have a good hand going second because this deck it has a very hard time playing going second. So yeah, um, the only spell in the deck is three desires. This deck needs pluses in a big way. Um, Getting back row is good, but maintaining back row is, is a better thing. So this can give you those extra cards. It's plus one, right? Um, now for the Paleo engine. Three Dynamiscus, three Alienides, three Canadia. I played two, Marilla. Um, one isn't enough in my opinion, because this card just gets your engine started, especially in the mirror match, you wanna see this card. If you see this card going first in the mirror match or even second, you generally win that game. Um, this is needed, especially in the mirror match. This gets your engine started and it can just open up explosive plays. Uh, Non-Paleos, three reckless lead. Um, this lets you draw and just always try to make sure that you activate this after you've already drawn or in response to a chain. Like if they MST it, then chain, obviously. But don't don't let this be a negative card in your deck, right? Make, and don't let someone fool you into thinking that these don't stack in a way that they do. Check your rulings and make sure you know how to play this card at the right time. Three D barrier, because D barrier is amazing. And if your opponent can't special summon their cards, like if you go play ABCs and you call exceed on them at the right moment, they just lose. So this is just amazing. Two storming, three isn't needed, and one you won't see it enough, but I prefer this over quaking and everything else just because you bounce it back to their hand, you can generally deal with it easier. Whereas if you do quaking, metaphor players can still do fusion and that's not good enough. Like if they can continue to go into Mithrilium with the weather effects, this 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 can be better. Double Wabaku. I feel like three is bad. Um, if you're playing three, then you're not opening up your combo pieces. If you draw two, this actually happened to me before when I played at a, at a regional. I drew too many of these, and uh, it, it lost me the game. One Breakthrough. One Compulse. Um, compulse is chainable. It bounces Mithrilium, it bounces Buster. Like, all, like these cards are excellent, and this deals with Danko Seka, and Danko Seka can wreck this deck, so yeah. And then just the Assault and Brigade. Pretty self explanatory, all needed, all very good cards. Alright, and what did you play in your extra deck? Extra deck, three toed, very, very self explanatory, needed. Uh, three Opavinia. You may not go into three all the time, but just on the off chance that you have that option, it's there. Uh, two element cars, because you won't ever go into three of these, but two is two is a good number. One cat shark, Degusto Phoenix, because Degusto Phoenix is amazing with cat shark, and attacking for six thousand is ridiculous. Shout out for DT. Um, Sky Cavalry, because there's a, this is actually one of your better car one of your better cards. Um, if you go into this and you can bounce their Mithrilium, this is an excellent play. Uh, bouncing their Mithrilium, allowing them not to continue out with their with their Mithrilium special summons can just halt them. Um, Crumble Logos, because good against uh, Decree, um, all kinds of outs, uh, Danko Saika, etc. This is just for trolls. Uh, 96, or sorry. Yeah, 96 Dark Mist. Um, I have so much extra space in here, I don't really care, so I just thought I'd throw this in there. Never came up once. Uh, downer, just because late game, going in for that uh, damage on the uh, piercing effect is pretty pretty relevant. And then F0, just in case uh, I ever need the, the extra target.
Alright, and onto side deck. Side deck is double anti spell for the uh, Metaphors match, blue eyes, basically anything. This this card is insane. It just deals with everything in the in the meta right now. So yeah, uh, double DD Crow. This is a great card. Pretty much versus everything as well as anti spell. This can hit so many good decks, and I think this is one of the best side deck cards in the game right now. Double Chalice. Chalice is excellent. Same with it. This card deals with so many things. Uh, Lava Gold. Now, this is interesting for this deck because we need our own or something in this deck, but my theory is if you. I'd rather do this and not have my normal summon and put this over top of a Dark Law and a Toad and deal with that and going against heroes, etc., then get screwed. So, yeah. System down because ABCs are still a relevant thing and this destroys ABCs. Cosmic Cyclone. Um, this is really good against Metaphors and the Mirror Match. And uh, yeah, this is just an excellent card. Uh, this is kind of funny. I play a uh, double Chaos Trapple because most people are going to side um, Danko Saka against you. So when you know that you're going to go first, generally game three, um, you side these in, especially against like decks like. Uh, ABC all, all lights period to begin with. Uh, you side this in and they dangle you and then they start to laugh and then you chaos trap all them and they cry. It's pretty funny. Now this is uh, just an interesting tech choice. I play Lullaby because if I play the mirror match and I get to go first, I'm going to call swap. Now they either have to special it to my field allowing me to activate its effect and send a card or they have to put it in my hand in which case it's just as good. Or if you play the uh, mermails and they play the swap engine or the frog engine, this is this is excellent. Alright, thank you for your deck profile. Now, what were your matches and how did you do? Uh, match one, I played um, played a Fuffles player. And uh, it's actually my teammate Kyle, it's pretty funny. Um, I just wrecked him 2-0, you know, it happens. But I, I drew the nuts both games. And uh, game two, I played an ABC player, I can't remember his name. Um, he, he couldn't create very good boards and I won the dice roll, so... I believe I won 2-1 that game, because game 2 I bricked, but yeah, after that, game round 3, I played my teammate Michael, he's playing a ABCs at the time, um, I opened really solid, and I ended up winning that game, game 1, and I believe I ended up losing game 2, winning game 3, because I opened up D-Barrier and whatnot, and set it, and it was broken. And then in the finals against my uh, teammate Joe, I won the dice roll. One game one, set D barrier with a strike, it's pretty good. Game two, he opened up really solid. Kieran, he's playing Metaphos. Um, he opened up Kieran, Infinity, I had, I had no answers. And then game three, I, since I won the dice roll, I just set D barrier with anti spell, and he had no to anti spell, so yeah, that was the tournament. All right, thank you for that.